Welcome to my site code diaries your ultimate guide to digital experience excellence your go to channel for all the things in site core and dot net so this is a new video series we are starting we are going to create a headless website in site core by using site core jss so all the site core jss concept we concept we have covered in last video series if you have not seen that video series i will give the link in the uh, description you can watch those that will clear out your all your concept of a headless site core headless uh, jss so now we are going to see create actually going to create a website in the site core headless jss so this is the first video where we, we we are going to see what are the prerequisite and how we can create a simple basic site in the uh, site code i'm your host jitendra ghanekar i'm in site code technology mvp 2024 and we have uh, nikhil with us nikhil is a site code certified developer uh, who is expertise in site code headless and he is going to guide us to create a complete uh, site code website site code jss website before handing over to the nikhil uh, let me request you if you are not subscribed to the channel please do consider subscribing to the channel and click on the notification bell to get a latest update if you like the video please click on the like button and uh, to share this video with the uh, others so over to nikhil Thank you, Jitu, and hi guys. Let's start with our first video of our headless series. In this series, we will be creating a headless site using Sitecore first approach. If you don't know Sitecore first approach, check out our video on development workflows, and you will get to know about the different different development approach Sitecore has provided. so we will be using sitecore first approach in which we already have a sitecore instance so i have sitecore 10.4 in already installed and we'll start so before starting i'll just brief you about the topics so in this video we will see the prerequisites required for sitecore headless development we'll see the packages involved sitecore has provided some packages to start with sitecore headless development we'll see the packages we'll see the purpose of the packages and then we'll create a site headless site and we'll start with api key creation also so the basic setup will be ready by the end of the video so let's start as you can see we have a site core one in instance here and uh, we will be installing our first package and that is sitecore headless rendering it is the first step towards sitecore headless development so this is a package provided by sitecore which contains dlls items and different different things which makes you headless ready so my instance is sitecore 10.4 you can download it accordingly as per your instance so i have downloaded this already you see site core headless service for site core xm once this is downloaded we'll go to another thing and that is site core experience accelerator so site core experience accelerator is an optional thing uh, it is the uh, accelerator used for uh, faster website developments so it already have all the stuff required for uh, development it is optional but uh, i i would suggest that you should use sxa and uh, so you have to use this sitecore experience accelerator and uh, you have to download this sitecore powershell extension for sitecore and this package contains uh, all the powershell scripts to get your uh, sites ready i'll show you the demo without this you won't have the the powershell scripts to you fully utilize sxa once the these are downloaded you have to go there desktop development tools installation wizard and there you have to install it you have to upload a package so total three package we have downloaded 
one is headless rendering package the other one is site core experience accelerator package the other is site core powershell extension spe so once done we have to upload the package these three package needs to be installed like this next next like this so once done we'll go back to our instance so this is our instance and we have already downloaded the three package required for sitecore headless development you can also choose not to install sxa and uh, you can manually configure the sites in webconfig uh, using the patch configurations uh, in sitecore site section you can define your sites so uh, using sxa we will be creating now so this uh, you can see headless site collection all these are appearing using the sxa and spe so we'll create one headless site collection this all thing is working uh, due to spe site core powershell extension so uh, you must download it with sxa to have the all the powershell scripts headless collection or tenant so our tenant is ready uh my i'm using site code 10.4 it has headless site collection and for 10.3 or previous version you can see headless tenant so it's the same thing don't don't get confused here so headless tenant is here now i'll go to insert i'll go to headless site here i will keep the headless site name site core demo my host name we can configure this at later part the site settings modules so we can choose uh, you can choose the basic site or not but i'm i'm taking it i don't require it so this is a virtual folder we'll just keep it as it is host name site name and language so the spe will prepare will run a site core script and create a new site based on the templates provided by site core sxa the site has been created you see my site is already ready site code demo with home item with a, a folder of media data which have all the pre required items and for dictionary we have settings we have site grouping item already there site map redirect standard value everything in place so our site is ready the next step is we'll create one api key so we'll go to system settings services api key api key api key course origin for the development purpose i'll put star there and let's save it so this is our api key so our site is ready and uh, this is our api key so this is the first part is done so and here we end the today's session and we'll continue this in the next video thank you for today over to you jitu all right we are done for today uh, so nikhil has started creating the website so we are going in this series we are going to create a single page website so the similarly what we have done for fvc website nikhil is going to guide us how to create the component in the jss how to create how, how to uh, uh, 
how to use the the layout service and other things okay so this uh, those this video series will continue uh, if you like this video please click on a like button do share this with your friends and colleague and if you are not subscribed to the channel i will request you to consider subscribing to this ch channel my site called iris channel and click on the notification bell to get a latest update thank you thanks for joining